Welcome back to Levant TV Headlines. Syria's Al-Qaeda affiliate Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant lost the ground to its jihadist rivals around the town on the Iraqi border in heavy fighting that left 24 people dead. European Union Foreign Policy Chief Catherine Ashton arrived in Cairo as part of a two-day visit ahead of a decisive presidential election. Palestine and Israel have indicated that they would like to find a way to go forward in peace talks, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said before a meeting with Israeli Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman. Israel has launched its latest military spy satellite to conduct espionage activities on Iran's nuclear energy program and anti-Israel resistance groups in the region. Turkish police broke up a protest by employees of a U.S. packaging firm who had occupied their factory in Istanbul for two months to press labor demands. Instability in Sudan's Darfur region has prevented top UN officials and uh, European diplomats from visiting a camp where thousands have fled the worst fighting in a decade. Ukraine's embattled acting presidents had uh, promised not to prosecute pro-Russian militants occupying government buildings if they lay down their arms and end the four-day siege. Voters took to the polls in New Delhi today on the first major day of India's marathon national election with votes to be counted on 16 of May. And finally, the chief prosecutor in the murder trial of Oscar Pistorius has accused the Olympic athlete of egotistical behavior in his relationship with Riva Stinkamp before he killed her, describing his apology as insincere. To read more, please visit our website, levant.tv. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.